Chapter 22, Reflections on Will The Stairway to Heaven, the successive initiations into broader and more encompassing awareness, are all unlocked by will. It seems to me that the central pillar of human evolution is the enhancement of will. Whether or not we develop such virtues as love, wisdom, or intelligence depends wholly on the force of our will, the focus and intensity of focus of our seeking. The further I go on my own path, the more I realize that my own unfoldment pivots upon the strength and direction of my own efforts. We ourselves determine the speed and purity of our approach to enlightenment, our fusion with true self. Whatever we can do may be done wholly, partially, or not at all. We may act with careful attention, from mixed motives, or with confused intention. There's no question that the intensity of light invoked depends entirely on the strength of our seeking that light, and by this I mean the light of greater awareness. There are many levels of spiritual dedication, from reading the words of others, reflecting on the meaning of personal experience, or further, to putting good ideas into daily practice. Following what we know in our heart often requires surrender, and aligning our efforts with what we know to be right takes discipline. Personal surrender and balanced discipline are certainly not easy. They demand will, but they also enhance the power of will. Of course, the development of will is a universal principle of evolution. It's not the sole possession of any one group, regardless of how we define ourselves, as E.T., Native Human, Divine Essence, or the now fashionable I don't know. Our path is fundamentally the same. From conflict and confusion to an integrated personality and beyond, through the lessons of love, wisdom, and unified awareness, on into the lap of infinity. This stairway to heaven, these successive initiations into broader and more encompassing awareness, are all unlocked by will. On earth, those with the greatest development of will are often found along the negative line, serving themselves through personal ambition and control of others, seeking wealth and power with insatiable appetite. Sadly, most people admire, respect, and even emulate these icons of selfishness. Who else do we find on the magazine covers but those who have achieved more or less through selfish egotism? In this neck of the cosmos, the successful are generally the most self-centered, but they do show us an effective deployment of will. E.T. souls and those of us who have met real spiritual teachers may realize, however, that this is not the case everywhere. I assure you, beyond Earth, the galaxies are filled with spiritual beings of tremendous sanctity, powerful with both will and humility. Just because power is usually linked on Earth with love of power doesn't mean that power itself is selfish. Actually, the selfless expression of power in love is far stronger. Unfortunately, many good-hearted people see this condition on Earth, and though perhaps they cannot articulate it, they recoil from social engagement and the active enhancement of will. Many New Age folks are head in the sand about the extent of negativity on Earth. With stars in their hair, they are mired in fragility. Power has a bad reputation in this world, since it is usually applied for selfish ends. But fire can be used to comfort or destroy, to nourish or incinerate. Let's not confuse the substance with its application. Don't blame fire for its burn. We could take this a lot further, but I'd like to close with a passage from the Law of One. As usual, Ra expresses in a most pithy way the importance of developing will. Quote, Acceptance of self, forgiveness of self, and the direction of the will, this is the path towards the disciplined personality. Your faculty of will is that which is powerful within you as co-creator. You cannot ascribe to this faculty too much importance. Thus, it must be carefully used and directed in service to others for those upon the positively oriented path. If we can hold the reins of active directed will and still live in the light of balanced love and wisdom, guess where we will end up? Right in the heart of higher self, our source and immediate destination. In the next chapter, I will present some of the essential teachings that can help us make closer contact with this center of our being.